Welcome once again to the National Science and Math Quiz. Today's contest is the fourth of our preliminary stage contests, and it's between Achimota School and Keta Senior High School. On my left, we have Achimota School represented by Benala Senior Kubo SS3, Queen Andreas SS3, Apo Frank Pepe SS3. On my right, we have Keta Senior High School represented by Cordell Vitus SS3. Baba Wilson, SS3. Ajibolos Nicholas, SS3. Let's begin with you, Keta Senior High School. You have one attempt to answer this question. How does the average kinetic energy of matter manifest itself? How? Yes, Wilson. It manifests as temperature. Yes, as temperature. <laughs> At Motor School, you also have one attempt to answer your question. At what temperature is the average kinetic energy zero? Yes, uh, Hassan. At the absolute zero. That's right. <laughs> the next pair of questions are also to be answered in one attempt. Keta. What name is given to the surface of the water that collects on a bedrock? Yes, Wilson. Water table. Yes. Oh! Water table. At Motor School, in one attempt, what name is given to the vertical section of a bedrock and the layers of soil that are located on top of it? Yes, uh, Frank. Soil profile. Is a soil profile. <laughs> If the ratio y plus 4 is to y plus 1 is equal to the ratio 3 is to 2, please find y. Yes, Nicholas. Y is 5. That's right. <laughs> At motor school, if the ratio x plus 2 is to x plus 5 is equal to the ratio 4 is to 5, Please find X. Yes, Andreas? X is 10. That's right. <laughs> Keta. One attempt. One attempt. Where exactly? I'm serious about the exactly. Where exactly in the body is the pituitary gland located? Yes, Wilson. At the base of the brain. Yes. <laughs> Similar question, one attempt. Where exactly in the body are the adrenal glands located? Yes, Al Hassan. It is located on top of the kidneys. Yes. <laughs> Last pair of questions for the round. Keta. The sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 99. Find the three odd numbers. Yes, Victors. 31, 33, and 35. That's right. <laughs> At motor school, the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 150. Find the three even numbers. Yes, Andreas. 48, 50, and 52. That's right. <laughs> At the end of the first round, the scores are Achimota School, 23 points. Keta Senior High School, 21 points. <laughs> Good luck. Let's begin this time with Achimota School. Your question. How many three-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9. If digits may be repeated and no number begins with 0. Yes, Andreas? 900. 900. <laughs> Peter, how many different committees of five people can be formed from a pool of eight people. Nicholas. 56 committees. Yes, that's right. Yeah. 
Achimota, on which road surface is a car likely to have a greater acceleration? A wet asphalt road or a dry asphalt road? I'm expecting a good explanation. Yes, Sir Hassan. The car will have more acceleration on the wet asphalt road than on the dry asphalt road. It's because on the wet asphalt road, the, because it's wet, the friction is less than on the dry asphalt route. Because it's, it's there. Okay. Andreas. Um, on the wet asphalt route, this is because on the wet asphalt route, the car have more grip on the ground, and therefore it can tra transfer more energy onto the road and provide more grip, thereby giving it more acceleration. I'm passing it on for a bonus. Yes, Wilson. On the dry asphalt route, this is because uh, friction provides for the centripetal force. And Friction uh, for the centripetal force, and this, if the uh, uh, road is dry, meaning the frictional force will be very high, so that the centripetal force will be very high, and acceleration is very proportional to the frictional, uh, the centripetal force. I'll give you the <laughs> Your major question: On which road surface is a car likely to have shorter stopping time when the brakes are applied? A wet asphalt road or a dry asphalt road? Please explain your answer. Yes, Nicholas. On a dry asphalt road, because the friction on a dry asphalt road is very high and the braking force applied is to overcome the friction. And since the friction on a dry asphalt road is very high, it means the time taken for the car to uh, come to a stop is longer. Good. Your major question. Which is more likely to become acidic? Clay or sandy soil? Explain. Yes, Al Hassan. It's a sandy soil. This is because uh, this is because clay contains uh, for a bonus. Yes, Nicholas. It is a clay soil. This is because the clay soil has a very poor retain uh, retention of it has a very high retention of water. That is has a, pro a poor a drainage system. So it can collect a lot of water on it. And due to the presence of anaerobic bacteria in this water, they produce carbon dioxide, which uh, dissolves in the water to form weak carbonic acid, hence making it acidic. Well done. Your major question. Explain why the addition of lime to clay soil improves the texture. Yes, Nicholas. The lime contains calcium hydroxide, and this calcium hydroxide tends to clamp the clay particles together, thereby improving the, the texture. Yes. <laughs> At Motor School. Find the volume of a right circular cone of base radius 5 centimeters and slant height 13 centimeters. You may leave your answer in pi. Yes, Andreas. 100 pi. Try again. Yes, Andreas. 100 pi cubic centimeters. Yes. Find the volume of a right circular cylinder of radius 4 centimeters and curved surface area 40 pi centimeter squared. You may leave your answer in pi. Nicholas. 160 pi cubic centimeters. That's right. <laughs> At the end of the second round, the scores are Achimota School, 36 points. Keta Senior High School, 42 points. <laughs> Let's begin round four. Keta, please, in one attempt. The epidermis of the human skin consists of three layers. Please name them. Yes, Wilson. The Malpighian layer, the conified layer. And the columnar layer. Two out of three. Ashmoter School, in one attempt, please. The skin can be regarded as a sensory organ because it has nerve endings which are sensitive to certain stimuli. Name three stimuli to which the skin is sensitive. 
Al Hassan. Touch, pain, and which one is the same picture? Temperature. That's hotness or coldness. I'll give you the map. An X ray target is bombarded by electrons accelerated through a potential difference of 8 times 10 to the power 4 electron volts. Calculate the highest frequency of the emitted photons. Planck's constant H is equal to 4 times 10 to the negative 15 electron volts seconds. Yes, uh, Victor's. 2.0 2 .0 times 10 power 19 uh, hertz. That's right. Achimota. An X-ray target is bombarded by electrons accelerated through a potential difference of 6 times 10 to the power 4 electron volts. Calculate the highest frequency of the emitted photons. Planck's constant is still 4 times 10 to the power negative 15 electron volts per electron volt seconds. Yes, uh, Frank. 1.5 times 10 to the power 19 hertz. That's right. At the end of round four, Achimota School has 62 points. Keta Senior High School has 60 points. Well done. First riddle. I am a small, dense body found in eukaryotic cells. Two zones of me are visible. A peripheral zone who rang? Yes, go ahead. The nucleus. No, that's incorrect. You also rang. You also rang. Yes, go ahead, Wilson. Ribosome. No. Ashmoser School, you were closer. It's the nucleolus, not the nucleus. The nucleolus. Next riddle. I am a two-digit number less than 20. I am odd and I have no other factors apart from myself and I. The sum of my digits is an exact square and the difference of my digits is two. Who rang? Yes? 13. 13. And they solved the riddle on the third clue, three points. Next riddle. I am a phenomenon associated with waves. I do not discriminate between transverse and longitudinal waves. I prefer dealing with two or more waves at the same time. My business. Go ahead. Interference. Interference. <laughs> they saw the riddle on the third clue. Three points. Final riddle. Final riddle. We are two very close friends. Our chemical compositions are the same. We give off CO2 with mineral assets. We are both cave dwellers.